Rana tigrina is the scientific name of the common Indian frog. The frog is a vertebrate belonging to the class Amphibia. Frogs live in freshwater ponds, pools and puddles. They are poikilothermic, that is, cold-blooded animals. The long winter sleep of the frog is known as hibernation, while its summer sleep is known as estivation. It is during spring and monsoon that it leads an active life on land as well as in water. Skin The skin of the frog is smooth, moist, slimy and devoid of any type of exoskeleton. Normally, the color of the skin on the dorsal side of the body is green with irregular black and yellow spots. The skin on the ventral side of the body is white or pale yellow. Histologically, the skin can be divided into two regions, the epidermis and the dermis. The epidermis is formed of stratified epithelium, which arises from the ectoderm. It forms the compactly cellular outer region of the skin. The innermost layer of the cells of the epidermis rests on the basement membrane and consists of more or less columnar cells having large, distinct nuclei. The cells of this layer being capable of dividing, the layer is called stratum germinativum or the stratum malfigi. Its cells divide and produce new cells which are pushed continuously towards the outer surface. The outer layer of cells forms the cornified squamous epithelium which is protective in function. The outermost layer is called stratum corneum. It is shed periodically and replaced by the new cells lying underneath. The surface of the epidermis possesses a large number of pores which are the openings of the mucous glands. The dermis is mesodermal in origin and chiefly consists of the connective tissue. It consists of an outer relatively thin layer of loose connective tissue and an inner thick layer of compact connective tissue containing transverse and longitudinal strands of muscles, blood vessels and nerve fibers. The bulbous part of the mucous glands extends into the loose connective tissue of the dermis while the narrow neck remains in the epidermis and opens onto the outer surface through a pore. There are several chromatophores containing the melanin pigments beneath the epidermis, especially in the skin of the dorsal and the dorsolateral sides of the frog. The chromatophores impart color to the skin of the frog. Functions of the skin the skin forms a complete envelope around the body and renders protection to the internal, soft parts of the body. The slimy covering over the epidermis protects the body against bacteria and fungi and helps to escape easily from the grip of enemies.